Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, April 11th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. Chemist's workplace? That has to be a lab, right? Yeah, let's see if we can build down through lab. Shower scrubber? Is that going to be a loofah? Is that how you spell loofah? I'm not sure. Madison Avenue Fellow. Well, there's a lot of advertising agencies on Madison Avenue. Maybe that could be a ad man? Underway. Hmm. So this is going to be something that's in progress? I'm not sure what they're going for here. Let's look at these acrosses. Poetic tribute could be an ode. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase, and it has to be super informal, like the language in this quote here. I think it could be OMG. It's kind of text speak, right? Underway. Is it going to be begun? Things have already begun. They're underway. I think so. Let's see if that's right. Year in France. Hmm. I don't know if I know the word for year in French. It's not annum, right? Isn't that Latin? What's this long across here? This might be our first theme answer. Earthquakes occur around them. That should be fault lines, right? Yeah. Peaceful pasture. That could be a lee. That's another word for a pasture. At an angle. Hmm. It's not slanted. Maybe it could be tilted. Ane? Is that right? It looks kind of weird to me. I guess it could be right. Let's see if we can confirm tilted here. Cousin of voila. Could that be tada? It's kind of something you say when you're doing something with a flourish. Blank for the long haul. Could that be in it for the long haul? Dalai blank, Tibetan priest. That's the Dalai Lama, right? Nice, okay. What is this down here? Obsessive about little details? Yeah, that would be anal. Anal retentive. Anastasia's love in 1997's Anastasia. It's been a long time. I think it might have been Dimitri. That looks pretty good. No longer happening. Uh, I guess it's gonna be at an something, so this has to be a vowel. Could it be at an end? Yeah. Pretty's up. It's looking like that's gonna be adorns. Maybe as you would a Christmas tree or something. Loosen as restrictions. I think that has to be ease. Tantalizing promos. That should be teasers, right? Maybe that's something an ad man could come up with. Keep off the blank park sign. That's gotta be keep off the grass. It's never fun when you see that park sign. Enjoy a night in Vegas, perhaps. Well, there's not much else to do in Vegas but gamble. Made turbulent as water. I think this is going to be roiled. It has to be roiled in the past tense because it's asking for made in the past tense in the clue. And the tenses in your clue and answer always have to agree. What's this last across here? Alternative to a tic tac? That should be an Altoid, right? Yeah, those are both mints. So we have AOL filled in here. You've got mail company? Yeah, that's right. And it's abbreviated instead of America Online because company is abbreviated in the clue here. School in Cambridge? That's the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Abbreviated again because school is abbreviated came into one's own. It's looking like that's going to be blossomed, right? That's a lovely piece of fill there. Star Wars character who founded the Resistance? I guess that's Leia. 
small whirlpool that is an eddy so we have say here say anything classic rom-com yeah that's right the yolks not on them but in them is this a pun about yolks sounding like joke the jokes not on them <laughs> i guess so i guess this has to be eggs genuine seems like that should be real crystal filled rock that's a geode all right we're at our next long answer this is probably another theme answer fortnite and the legend of zelda for two um well they're both video games yeah Okay, so what do we have so far for our long across answers? Fault lines and video games? Fault lines, video games. Fault video lines games. Hmm, I'm not seeing a lot that ties these two things together. Let's see if we can get another example in our third long across here. No longer interested in? Is that over? I'm over it. Let's finish off this little section here. Animal on an Xing sign. That has to be a deer. Outstanding team award or best college athlete award. Is this gonna be SB? An SB award that was on yesterday's puzzle too. Like some humor and wine. <laughs> yeah, there's dry versions of both of those things. Snoozing is gonna be asleep, okay. We're now officially in the southern half of the grid here. Brewer's Kiln. Ooh, this is a tough vocabulary word. Um, I know I've seen this before, but it's been a while and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to remember it. Yeah, there's a specific word for a brewer's kiln. Hmm, I'm gonna need more crossing help here. Now it makes sense. This is another equivalent phrase. Um, I think this should probably be, oh, I see. That's something that we say all the time solving crosswords. What polytheists worship? Well, they worship multiple gods, right? Nice, okay. Not happening, another equivalent phrase. Is it just, uh-uh, <laughs> not happening? Kind of reaction or instinct. Yeah, that could be a gut reaction or a gut instinct. All right, we're kind of at our third theme answer here. Construction site vehicles. That has to be dump trucks, right? Um, hmm. Fault lines, video games, dump trucks. Hmm, I'm still not getting anything in common with any of these things. That is so interesting. Hopefully we have a revealer at some point. Watch or clock. Is that going to be a timepiece? Nice, I like that piece of fill. Hmm, this one is still not looking familiar to me. Man, yeah, we're going to need help with every last letter on that one. Cut wool from, is that going to be sheer? Throw some jabs, that could be spar if you're boxing. French for to be, yeah, I think that's etre. Yeah, I believe that's right. Early buying opportunity. Maybe that could be a pre-sale. Home of Salt Lake City, that's in Utah. Old Spice is a popular one. I know they make cologne. Yeah. Sign on a moody teen's door. <laughs> is that gonna be keep out? That's a great entry there. Keep time with the foot. Okay, is that gonna be toe tap? So it's an oast? Oh man, that is a tricky word there. I guess you have to remember that you roast with an oast. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be some kind of mnemonic like that. Okay, ending with sea or land? Sea or land, hmm. It's not seashore, right? There's no land shore. Let's see if we can get this last long across here. Eating utensils that might come wrapped in red paper. In red paper, that should be chopsticks, right? What is this? Fault lines, video games, dump trucks, 
chopsticks. Hmm. Wow, this Monday theme has me totally baffled. This is wild. We might have to think about this for a little while. Something to shoot for or shoot at. Is it going to be a goal? Do you shoot at a goal? Hmm. What would you shoot at a goal in? I'm not sure about that one. Let's see if this is an A. Nordstrom arrival familiarly. Well, that's a department store, so maybe this is Saks? Short for Saks Fifth Avenue? Throw in the microwave should be Nuke. Online marketplace for artisans is definitely Etsy. I guess maybe this is a goal. Oh, you would shoot at a goal in like hockey. Oh man. Yeah, I was thinking like marksmanship, not shooting in a hockey game. Okay, so this is going to be an L. Rick who sang Never Gonna Give You Up. <laughs> That's Rick Astley. Looks like we all just got Rick rolled. Blank Beta Kappa. I think it has to be Psi Beta Kappa, right? I don't know what other Greek letter could fit there. Oh no, it could be Phi, right? I think that works better with this S. Bundle of paper? That could be a sheaf, right? Smart speakers from Amazon? Those should be echoes, I guess. Plural, because they're asking for speakers, plural, in the clue. Curly-tailed Japanese dog? I believe that's in Akita? Camera lens setting. That should be an f-stop. Yeah, it's been a while, but I think that's some kind of ratio between focal length and shutter speed. It's something like that. Hopefully the goose can help us out with that one. Yeah, but that's going to be f-stop. And then what do we have on these shorter crosses here? Chart topper. Yeah, that's going to be a hit. Suin language speaker. That'll be an Oto. Yeah, a member of the Oto tribe. Okay, and then we have a sap. Maple product? Yeah, that looks good too. Of bees, prefix. Okay, well, when you hear people describe a home for bees, sometimes it's called an apiary, right? So I think it's going to be api, api. Snakes by the Nile, that could be asps, like Cleopatra's asp. Singer Collins, is that Phil Collins? Excellent, okay. Australian young woman. Oh man, um, did they call young women Sheila's? Am I just making that up or have I heard that before? I think that might be right. Is this an I? 1950s presidential nickname. Yeah, that's Ike for Dwight D. Eisenhower. Is this an L? Verb on a candy heart. <laughs> I think that should be the informal love. Very nice. And this should be an A, ending with C or land. Hmm. I'm still not sure about this. S-C-A. Let's put an A here. Oh, here we go. We finally hit the revealer. Let's find out what's going on in these theme answers. Learn as a new skill, or what can precede the ends of 20, 36, 42, and 59 across. Is it gonna be pick up? That would be another word for learn, right? And then you could say pick up lines, pick up games, like pick up basketball games. Pick up trucks, yeah, the most popular vehicle in the US it seems like. And pick up sticks, yeah, that's like a childhood game, right? Ooh, man, yeah, I don't know if we had any hope of uncovering that theme. That would have been very tough to see without this revealer. Excellent, but we did get it with the revealer's help. Is it gonna be seascape, landscape? Ooh, that was kind of tricky to see too. So that leaves us with sleeve. Ooh, that's kind of a tricky clue. It's not like a Guinness World Record holder. It's a holder for a vinyl record, a sleeve. Very nice. All right, let's throw that E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in 18 minutes. That seems to be a pretty good average time for a Monday puzzle for us. This was a very tricky theme to pick up without this revealer, yeah. I think we spent a little time thinking about it, trying to come up with 
some way to combine all of these answers. But yeah, we didn't really have any hope of doing that. It's very tricky to get these kinds of themes without the revealer's help. But I think we end up with a bunch of pretty good common phrases. Pick up lines, pick up games, pick up trucks, and pick up sticks. Yeah. And the original phrases are pretty good too. Fault lines, video games, dump trucks, and chopsticks. Yeah. That's a pretty nice theme set there. I liked a lot of the longer downs on this puzzle. Blossomed is lovely. Timepiece is really nice. Keep out and cologne. Both of those are great. And I loved getting rickrolled with Rick Astley here too. I'm glad we got a chance to learn the French word for year, anne. That's so interesting. I'm so surprised I've never seen this before. And I also really loved the clue for sleeve, record holder. That's a very nice little Monday misdirection there. Record holder, yeah. It's not about a world record holder. All right, well, it looks like that Monday solve is at an end. But don't worry, I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.